We turn now to the push to train and keep more doctors in Kentucky, specifically in rural or lower income communities, which lack options. WDRB's Darby Bean tells us how the University of Louisville will use millions of dollars to make sure every family gets the medical care they need. That grant is expected to not only add primary care doctors to rural areas of Kentucky, but also bring benefits to those right here in Louisville. Because we have such a need in Kentucky and all over, we have so many counties of the 120 counties that are uh, lacking in uh, adequate numbers of physicians and health care providers there. Thanks to this four year grant, the University of Louisville will receive $16 million. The goal is to increase Kentuckians access to health care by training more primary care doctors and encouraging them to practice in underserved communities. But that doesn't just mean small towns. But we also serve a community right here in our own backyard and in particular in West Louisville. The grant will help with scholarships and the School of Medicine says it will enhance existing programs that train students in rural areas as well as create a new program to train medical students in an urban environment. In our urban core, we have just as many problems with access to health care as we do in rural communities. Sometimes they're the same, sometimes they're different, but the need is there. But it's not just primary care where those in health care say more help is needed. And many patients are seeing that first hand when they try picking up prescriptions. You often have uh, shorter opening hours, you have a long lines. Um, that is because there is a need both for pharmacists and for pharmacy technicians. Misty Stutz, the dean of Sullivan University's College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, says pharmacy workplace conditions changed before the pandemic. And once that hit, there was added workload, including administering vaccines. She says there's a national enrollment shortage of students going into pharmacy programs and it's being felt right here at home. We're down over half of what we were in 2018. To help, she says Sullivan has added scholarships to encourage students to follow this career path, but says with the amount of time it takes to complete training, changes would likely take years to see. But those helping students get started on their future plans are hopeful they'll look into programs like these. Reporting with photojournalist Dave White, Darby Bean, WDRB News.